suffering. America is murdering her own children in these days. That's right, folks, 5,200 babies murdered every single day in America. That's taking your child's blood and pouring it out on the soil of America. Wicked America. And it's because of your sex outside of a marriage. It's because sex. of your wicked, lustful life of greed and selfishness. Instead of receiving the gift of God, you cast the gift of God aside and you, you, uh, you greed and lust after the things of the world. It's the same as Sodom and Gomorrah, folks. God said the sin of Sodom, it was what? It's fornication, folks. Fornication has a lot of ramifications about it. It's man with men in sexual encounters. That's called homosexuality. It's called sodomy in the Bible. Women with women is called sodomy. And that's what America's filled with. Sodomy. Murder of their babies. That's right. Of fornication. Adultery. Lust. Murder. Lying. Drunkenness. That's right. Thieves. Hornums are going on in America. We are spiritual a reprobate from God. God said you come unto me with your mouth, but your heart is far from me. That's what God says. See, America says, oh, I'm saved. I believe in God. But I'll tell you, the Bible says that the devil, the devil believes, he fears, and he trembles. The Bible says the devil's going to be cast into the lower depths of hell because he will not humble himself before God. He won't, he won't repent of his ways. What is repentance today, folks? Repentance in the Bible says it's a change of mind. Do you know that God repented of even making man? He had a change of mind sure because damn. man was continually evil and wicked in his heart. You're going to stand before that God, a God that has the power to destroy life and destroy the soul. The Bible says the soul that sinneth shall surely die. He said that if your name is not found written in the Lamb's book of life, you're going to be cast into the lake of fire. That's being cast into the lake of fire. See, what do we have in America? Why do we have uh, uh, men that are 50s and 60s and they curse God? They don't want to hear the preaching of the Word of God. It's because the Bible was thrown out of school. We don't raise our generations in the admonition of the Lord. They don't know which way to go. They're confused. They don't know of the boundaries of God. God has put limitations on uh, our ability of being able to choose from right and wrong. And our limitation is that we're weak in our sin. We're weak in the flesh. We're weak because we're sinful. We're, we're conceived in sin. And that's why we need the Word of God, folks. And America has deprived its own land because it's taken the Bible out. It's cast the Bible out of school. And now it's casting the Bible out of the churches. We're yeah. becoming a nation of heathens, wicked, vile. We're going to offer our children up to Moloch. That's right. We slaughter our children just like Israel did. We, we murder them. 5,200 babies murdered every day. And it's because we have neglected the Word of God. And you know not which way to go. You don't know how to judge right from wrong anymore, America. And it's because you don't fear God. God said the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. If you had wisdom, then you would fear God. But most of America says, why should we fear a loving God? The Bible says we should fear God because He can both kill the body and the soul. He's the Creator, folks. He made both heaven and earth. He formed a man of the dust of the earth. Is there any other power greater than God? I'll tell you, the religious horror of America is that Catholicism, folks. It's a, it's a Catholic church. It's wicked as hell. It's deceived millions to go to hell. You need to wake up, America. Your religion of the land is evil and it's wicked, but it's being spearheaded by that Catholic church. They, they have proven themselves to have a priesthood of whoredom, of their, their wicked liars, their thieves, their murderers. They are drunkards. That's right, folks. They hate God. They're the ones that killed the saints, drank the blood of the saints all the way down through the ages. They lead the, the ecumenical movement in America and throughout the world. That's right. Hey, God said that little horn will come up. It'll be unlike any other. I'll tell you, that uh, that Catholic Church is unlike any other. Yes, the Catholic Church fell, but the papacy rose up. It's unlike any other government. It is a government unto itself. 
and it's a religious leader of the world. That's right, it's unlike any other. And it, and it has a boisterous uh, little mouth, folks. It's right, it's a little horn, but it has a big mouth. It yeah. says, uh, that Pope says he's the vicar of Christ. He carries 666 on himself. He is the, the devil advocate himself. That's right. That old Pope, he is wicked and he's vile. He has a priesthood that is wicked and vile. And you follow right after the whoredoms of the religions of this world, America. You need to repent of your, your wicked religions and turn to Jesus Christ and Him only. He is the way, truth, and life, and no man come unto the Father but by Jesus Christ. You're not going to get into heaven going through Buddha or going through uh, Allah or some other religion. You need to go the way of the cross through the blood of Jesus Christ. It is the way, truth, and life. There is no other way. And I'll tell you, Jesus Christ, when He laid His life down on that cross, he said, I'll lay my life down and I'll pick it up again. That's why we ought to fear God, because He has power over death and hell. He's the only one that had victory over death and hell. And that Bible says that Jesus Christ is the door. He's the doorway into heaven. That Bible says that Jesus is the door. He said, by me, if any man should enter in, he shall be saved. That's a promise yeah. of God. You can be saved. That's right. You can have salvation. You can be cleansed from your sin and have eternal life. You can have the Holy Ghost living inside of you. That Bible says you must be born again or you cannot see the kingdom of God. If you're not born again, you're going straight to hell. If you're not born again, you're going to pay the wage of your sin. And when your body dies, your soul is going to stand at the great white throne of judgment. You'll kneel down before God and your tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And he'll say, depart from me, for I never knew you, ye that work iniquity. Then you're going to be cast right into the lake of fire, folks. You need to wake up. Jesus Christ is the Lamb of God. He takes away the sins of the world. Jesus Christ is the righteous one. Jesus Christ is God manifested in the flesh. Jesus Christ is the Lamb of God that was slain before the foundation of the world. Jesus Christ is the, the victory. The victory side is in Christ Jesus. You can't have victory over your sin through religion. You'll go and confess to the confession booth, the confession booth, the confession booth, and you'll live like hell in your life because you can't find any strength over your sin, no power over your sin through your water baptism or through your Catholic confessions or through Buddha or some uh, other wicked religion. There's over 2,500 religions in this world, but there's only one God. There's one mediator between God and man. That's the man Christ Jesus. And there's the sinner. That's you. And you need to go to Jesus Christ because He's the mediator. He's the one that paid the wage of your sin. It's not Mary that paid the wage of your sin. She's dead in the grave. She can't help you. She can do nothing for you. She can't stand between you and God. She's dead in the grave. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes that the dead know it nothing. And yet you'll pray to dead saints. you pray to a dead Mary. you pray to a dead Buddha. You'll pray to other dead religious figures. Why won't you pray to the only one that rose from the dead? And that's Jesus Christ. He's the living God. He's the God of creation. He's the God that walketh on water. He's the God that formed the earth. He's the God that has control over the sun, the moon, and the stars. And yet you'll worship the sun, the sun in the sky, but you won't worship the sun, the S-U-N, Almighty God that was manifested in flesh, the one that condescended down to man that we might know who God is, that we might know the love of God. Yes, God is love, but it, we know God. He is known by what? By His judgments. We wouldn't know God if He didn't have any judgments. We wouldn't know who He is. But God came to judge the earth through Jesus Christ. And it's Jesus Christ that testifies against your sin. That's why you hate Him. If Jesus Christ didn't come, then you wouldn't know no sin. You wouldn't know who He was. He is the Word. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God. And the Word was God. The same was with God in the beginning. Remember, he dwelt among men, and, and men didn't know who he was. He said he was the light of men. And the light shined in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. You don't know who Jesus Christ is unless you get in that that was given to us in the 855.